Welcome to Aarti's Education. Today we are going to learn how to solve practice set 16. In this practice set, we are going to multiply the given decimal fractions and find out their answers. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel for learning maths in easy way. So let's turn towards to practice set 16. The first question is if 317 multiplied by 45 is equal to 14265 then 3.17 multiplied by 4.5 is equal to what? So for each we have to multiply 3.17 by 4.5. Look here. When we observe the first number of first multiplication, that is 317 multiplied by 45, look at its digits. The same digits are given here for find out the answer. So, we just have to write here. 3.17 multiplied by 4.5 is equal to this is the answer we get by multiplying it 14265 because there are same digits given in this number and this number so this is the answer we have to get now these are the multiple fractions so we have to add decimal places in the in our answer so find out how many decimal places the given fractions have look here here is 1 and here here are 2 so 2 plus 1 it's 3 decimal places so left three decimal places from your right place and just write your answer. One, two, three. And our answer will be ready. Look, it's easy. Now look at the question number two. It's if 503 multiplied by 217 is equal to 1,9151 then 5.03 multiply by 2.17 is equal to what? Now here also when we observe the given question we find out the same digits are given in the this number. So we are going to write the answer is 1,9151 for 5.03 multiplied by 2.17. 5.03 multiplied by 2.17 is equal to also 1,9151. Now we have to place there decimal point count the how many decimal places our numbers have it's one two here are two decimal places and here also are two decimal places so two plus two it's four decimal places we have to let four places from our right side so one two three four and place here a decimal point our answer is 10.9151 it's easy look when the example is given to us now look at the third question question number three it's multiply The first sub question in it is 2.7 multiplied by 1.4. So just write it is 
as a normal numbers we write 27 multiply by 14 let's multiply it 14 7 is 98 9 is carry forward 14 2 is 28 plus 9 it's 37 so our answer is 378 now these are decimal fractions so we have to put decimal point in our answer look at the first number or first fraction it have one decimal place and second fraction have also one decimal place so we just left two decimal places from our right side and put our decimal point here so our answer is 3.78 it's easy the second question is 6.17 multiply by 3.9 now remove the decimal places and write the number and then multiply it. 9 7 is 63. 6 is carry forward. 9 1 is 9 plus 6 it's 15. 1 is carry forward. 9 6 is 54 plus 1 it's 55. Now multiply it by tens number. It's 3. 3 multiplied by 7. 21. 2 is carry forward. 3 ones of 3 and plus 2 it's 5. 3 6 is 18. Right here 18. Just add them. Right 3. 5, one, 5 plus 1 is 6, 5 plus 5 is 10, 1 is carry forward, 8 plus 5 it's 13 plus 1 it's 14, 1 is carry forward and 1 plus 1 it's 2. So our answer is 24,063. Now count the decimal places in our problem. It is here it is 1 and here it, it they are 2. So 2 plus 1 it is 3. We have to left 3 decimal places from our right side. Count 1, 2, 3 and put here a decimal point. So our answer is 24.063. Look at the third question. It's 0 0.57 multiply by 2. Now just write the number ignoring decimal point and multiply it as a normal number. So 57, 2 7s are 14. 1 is carry forward. 2 5s are 10. 10 plus 1 it's 11 so our answer is 114 now this is a decimal fraction so we have to give or place here a decimal point then our answer will be correct uh, so here on the question there are two decimal places so left two numbers or two digits from your right side 1 and 2 and place here decimal point so our answer is 1.14 the next question is fourth question 5.04 multiply by 0 0.7 let's ignore the decimal places and write the number then multiply it as a normal number. We multiply 7 fourths are 
28 2 is carry forward 7 0 is a 0 plus 2 it's 2 7 5 is a 35 right here 35 so our product by multiplying 504 into 7 we get is 3528 now we have to put decimal place here count how many decimal places question have it's well, here is here it's one and here the two two plus one it's three now start towards to your right side one two three and place here a decimal point so our answer is three point five two Eight. The next question Fourth question is the word question A word problem Let's read it Virendra bought 18 bags of rice Each bag weighing 5.250 kg How much rice did he buy all together? If the rice cost 42 rupees per kg, how much did he pay for it? He buy 18 bags and the bag of and the weight of each bag is 5.250. Kilogram. So for finding the first question's answer, how much rice did he buy altogether? We ha just have to multiply 5.250 by 18. So multiply it first. Fourth question's answer is 5.250 multiply by 18. Just write the no number as we write a normal number. 5.250 multiply by 18. Ignore the decimal point. So 18 zero is a 0. 18 five is a 90. 9 is carry forward. 18 to the 36 plus 9, it's 45. 4 is carry forward. 18 is a 90 plus 4, it's 94. So the total weight or how much rice, total rice he buy is 94,500 so we just have to put a decimal point there count the places 1, 2, 3 there are 3 decimal places in the question here they does not give any decimal place so just leave 3 places from your right side 1, 2, 3 it's a 94.500 kg rice. Our first question's answer is ready. Just write it in words. He buy 94.500 kg rice. All together. The second question in fourth question is if the rice cost if the rice cost 42 rupees per kg how much did he pay for it? So finding our answer again we have to multiply 
the total weight by 42 rupees so let's multiply it 94.500 multiply by 42 we are going to multiply it for total cost or total rupees paid by Virendra. So just multiply it by ignoring the decimal point. Multiply by 42. 2 0 is 0. 2 0 is 0. 2 5 is 10. 1 is carry forward. 2 4 is 8 plus 1 it is 9. And 2 nines are 18. Now multiply it by 4. 4 zero is 0. 4 zero is 0. 4 fives are 20. 2 is carry forward. 4 fours are 16 plus 2. It's 18. 1 is carry forward. 4 nines are 36 plus 1. It's 37. Let's add them. 0, 0, 0 plus 0, it's 0. 9 plus 0, it's 9. 8 plus 8, it's 16. 1 is carry forward. 7 plus 1, it's 8. And carried 1, it's 9. And 3. So our answer is 39 lakh and 69,000. Now, we have to put here decimal place. Count the decimal places. 1, 2, 3. And put your decimal place and write in words that Virendra spent rupees 3,969 on rice. Now, fifth question. The question is, Vedika has 23.50 meters of cloth. She used it to make 5 curtains of equal size. If each curtain required 4 meters 25 centimeters to make, how much cloth is left over? For it, we have to multiply first the curtains she make, that is 5 and cloth required for each curtain that is 4 meters 25 centimeters so first of all we have to multiply these both numbers let's start to multiply the cloth required for each curtain is 4 meter 25 centimeter means it is a 4.25 meter and she makes 5 curtains so we have to multiply here by 5 so multiply it write it as a normal number 425 multiply by 5 5 5 is a 25 2 is carry forward 5 to the 10 plus 2 it's 12 1 is carry forward 5 4 the 20 plus 1 it's 21 now our answer is 2125 we have to just put there a decimal point count the places here 1 and 2 so in our answer we also left two places one two and then place here a decimal point so total cloth she required is 21.25 meter means 21 meter and 25 centimeter now vedika has the cloth 23.50 meter and she required 21.5 meter so we just have to subtract these two numbers let's subtract it 23.50 
माइनस ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव टेन फाइव टेन माइनस फाइव इट्स फाइव फोर माइनस टू इट्स टू प्लस यर पॉइंट थ्री माइनस वन इट्स टू एंड टू माइनस टू इट्स जीरो द आंसर इज टू पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर सो सो हाउ मच क्लॉथ इज लेफ्ट ओवर इट्स टू पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर क्लॉथ लेफ्ट दिस इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ अवर प्रॉब्लम सेट जस्ट राइट इट इन युअर नोटबुक एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो